look over the year is 1888 and there is much cause for concern. The news are taking over London and the jobs within design. We live in laundry homes and white chapels and closest things you have. Well, the news are taking over London and the jobs within design. We live in laundry homes and white chapels and And he's killing on the loose He's a scoundrel with a neck that's very fitting for the noose If I saw him I would gladly put my calming knife to use But we don't know what he looks like so we can't stop the abuse
20 years of marriage. Most 25 years. Uh, excuse. How old are you? 25 years. Excuse? How can you not remember? We've been together 25 years. I didn't forget. I just don't count it all as one. So I'm going to be able to split up. But we never separated. Maybe we should give it a try. <gasps> you see, it's true. I'm not the one that causes tension here. It's you. You can't be serious. You're the one that's so quick to name everything I say. Go away. No, I think it's you that needs to leave. I can't take this grief that you are making me receive. It's well, true. But it's time to go back home You've spent far too long here Abandoning your children Neglecting your husband You have to go and face the past Father, would you really send me out on the streets? I'm just not ready to go I know I must return someday to look after my family But I need to look after myself I beg you understand this, Father. Do you take me for a fool? I am through with helping you. You're a fully grown adult. The bed you've made is your own fault. No, I expect you to be gone by morning, Mary. So I see here you worked for Mr. Carriage as a domestic servant. That I did. Uh, it didn't last long then. I can't. Do. Well, um, they didn't really answer for us, so I just changed their sheets and cooked their dinners, and the rest of the day led me to mischief. Ah, uh, idle hands make the devil's work. That they do, and these idle hands make me a thief. I stole some shit and I'm not proud. <laughs> <laughs>
Daddy, darling! Eddie! What are you doing here? It was only this afternoon I saw you. Well, I've been around the block a fair few times. I've sampled all there is to sample. But today, I hit the mother though. The jackpot! I love you, darling! I am in love with a lady of the night Even if I know it's wrong I love her so more than she will ever know and That's why I'm singing this song I can see a future So I look forward to more. Oh, I've, I've got to stop you there. I'm very flattered, but I get these serenades a couple of times a day. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Have you already got a fella? No, but... Well, then there's no reason why you can't be mine. <laughs> what was that for, you slut? <laughs> <laughs>
they do not need any help in our investigation. We'll look into any after this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but we still haven't questioned you about Alice. Then. Do you have an alibi for five o'clock that day? I was headed off to work and stopped along the way. There was a policeman who was putting out a fire. I had stopped to help him for my help he did require. I was fixed from five to six and that's the honor. I helped a fellow man in need despite my lacking you. I didn't catch his name. If you find the officer responding to the fire in Pudding Lane, you'll recognize me. Another fire at Pudding Lane. <laughs> yeah, locals are dubbing it the pathetic fire of London. <laughs> Thanks to your truly. Well, we're done with you for now. We'll just confirm your tale of events, then you'll be free to go. Constable. Yes. I have some good news and some bad news. We'll take the good news first, officer. Well, I just spoke to Sergeant Fick. Ah, oh, good old Thicky Dicky, what say he? Well, the hero realized is strong. Black literary. From the pictures we took of the man who assisted him on putting out the fire. Well, that clears that up. And the bad. The press have somehow been the leak the news that John Black is the main press. suspect. Was our main suspect? Let me see that. It says that black leather aprons and it's to the town it claims that black leather aprons the proceeds when they're down it should be widely understood that he's a threat to state and crown he should quickly be stuffed out before he got his wounded crown Jesus Christ, I haven't killed anyone! Well, we know that it's just a shame nobody else does I can't go now, we lynched! Okay, you can stay in the infirmary until we get the press to print a retraction. Can you please escort John? Black leather apron. <laughs> it seems like our next line of inquiry should be into that of one Eddie. Mm. How we find him, so we need to bray to the east end and just. Make the guy professing his love to all the halls. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, please. 
her instead. You do nothing of the establishment. And don't play dumb with us. You knew she was dead because you killed her. E-D-D-Y, you ain't got no alibi, you're ugly and guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I did no such thing. We have an eyewitness that says you had an altercation with Miss Chapman the day before she died. Well, admit it! <coughs> well, so we had a few heated words, but I didn't have a finger on her. But I couldn't. Okay. There, there. <laughs> Now, now. <laughs> I didn't do it. Will you stop crying if we acquit you? Well, yeah, it would help. <laughs> Finally believe you. Really? Well, you, you, don't need to give you, you don't need me to give you an alibi. Your profound and large quantity of tears are all the alibi we require. <laughs> but because so, no, you might start crying again. <laughs> Good day, and... Mourn quietly. <laughs> Thank you. I, I will. Well, I guess that means we just have one more lead then. Yes, the man with the ridiculous name. He owns the Ten Bells Rug Club around the corner. Should head off. Let's make our way there then. Not me. He is incapable of doing something 
out of character. I need an alibi for the early hours of the 31st of August and the 8th of September, or I will take you into custody. 31st, you say? Give me one moment. There's a bank receipt for my account in York. See? It's dated the 30th of August. With it taking two days to ride from there, because that question I couldn't have been in the East End of London for the early hours of the 31st. I see. And as for the 8th constable, I can testify that man was here with me. <coughs> we were playing cast till nearly five past three. Then upon the door, there came a knocking call. She said she'd been to work and wanted work some more. To oblige the lady's firm request I'm a man of honour so I gave my best She's my alibi Who lost this man for why They understand I wasn't there to hurt a fly They understand he wasn't there to hurt a fly Well, turn them my way. I'll soon go to grafting. Yeah. 
Thanks, John. Um, how is it safe? What? Being a buzzy, despite being killed in Oh yeah, well safe. Maggie and Danny were rare as <laughs> 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 or Was it Judy and Franny? I can't remember. But what a travesty. I'm cut up about it. Bloody hell, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> what? That! I'm with you. Well, I've never seen a schlong with such impressive length and girth For a nicer pair of testicles, but what my word is worth I am feeling quite inadequate, much to my own surprise You be careful of that thing, for it should take out someone's eyes It should take out someone's eyes, it should take out someone's eyes You be careful of that thing, for it should take out someone's eyes And without a doubt he is the most substantial man I know Yet that thing is hardly practical It must be just for show It must be just for show Yes, it must be just for show I know that thing is hardly practical It must be just for show Yes, it must be just for show Yes, it must be just for show I know that thing is hardly practical It must be just for show that is my name and I am proud to be A man who schlong goes past his very knee I am well endowed That is my name, things do not wear it out If you must utter it, please do not shout You are much too loud if you were in a position to defend your very life You'd no need for gun or sabre or in fact a butcher's knife You'd just grab your secret weapon and display the meaty stalk So that when you're through with them there'll be a no fit state to walk Yes, in hope it's fate to walk, yes, in hope it's fate to walk So that when you're through with them there'll be a no fit state to walk Yes, in hope it's fate to walk Honestly assure you that my member functions well Not as weaponry or any propaganda you should sell It's a pleasure for the leisure of the women and I share That if you half it there would still be half a foot left there to spare Half a foot left there to spare, half a foot left there to spare If you half it there would still be half a foot left there to spare That is my name and I am proud to be The longest man ever in history I hope your eyes can tell Please keep on drinking at this very pub Eat all my famously delicious grub I serve dessert as well <laughs> Elizabeth, have you got my cash? Why should I still give you some when you're not up to scratch? Easy girl, you'd better hold your tongue. John Long Shlong don't take lip from anyone. Did you see the look on their faces? The faces of the girls who died. Don't forget you walk the same. Places 
would you risk not having protection? Neither would I. Be sweet. 
Yeah. 
beyond control. I couldn't help my package and the glances that it stole. There's more than meets the groin. I am a fine entrepreneur. My talents go beyond the strong of this, I am sure. I have a heart of gold and no I can give more. In my life I try to get ahead, and just as things were good, my workers end up dead. How can I allow their sad demise? I see the fear in all their eyes. There must be something that I can do I shan't endeavour to wait I need to think of a brilliant plan Before I am too late What if when one of my girls is working I will stand by the door I'll guard her life is like